What up, bitches? It's Lissa Shell here to share my YouTube story with the world. Okay. So. I, I, I actually had another account before this one. Um, I believe my username back then was Lissy Rose 5000 and I really didn't do much on it. I just watched videos and shit. But due to me constantly forgetting the password to that account, I decided to start over new. Thus, Lissa, thus Lissa Shell 9002 came to be in April of last year. Um, I actually got my username from my first and middle name, which are Melissa Michelle. It's on my Facebook page, too, for those of you who've added me. So you can go ahead and check that shit out. And I just commented. I still watch videos, but I also commented. And a lot of people were taking notice of that fact. Um... Um, I actually, but the one time I actually got the most notoriety was when this user by the name of Official Fuck Lil Wayne, he started an account back in July of last year. And his goal was to get like a thousand subscribers, and so I decided to help him out, being the nice person that I am. He started making these videos about why Lil Wayne is the t most talentless, overrated piece of crapper there is. He still is, by the way. Um, and I started commenting, and a lot of people were taking notice of that fact. Mm -hmm. Mostly, OFLW himself. And soon he introduced me to the brother channel of his, Anti Lil Wayne channel. I started subscribing to him too, and I commented on his videos, and a lot of people were noticing that too. Now, if you haven't checked, now I actually filmed like two videos with a cell phone. Um, my first one was a personal warning about two guys on horse. And my next one was just a personal message introducing myself. Both of those were like 15 seconds and I really didn't get that many views on them. I had like a combined total of 100 something views. But in three months ago, I got this camera. I got this computer, to be precise. And... I decided to make a real vlog. I didn't know what to start on, so I just decided I just decided to talk about rebirth and why most of the t most of the songs on there sucked. Soon afterwards, I started making a couple more videos and I got like very little views on those. But it wasn't until recently, actually I think that was like a month ago, I'm not sure. It wasn't until a month ago when I made a video saying that Waka Flocka Flame needs to be doused and I just made some, I just made some comments on why that sucked and that I started getting a lot of hate comments on that. Um, the weird part is, none of these people had anything to do with, none of these comments had anything to do with defending Waka Flocka Flame. They were mostly obsessed with my personal appearance. Like, I was called all kinds of fat bitch, or lame-ho, or desperate, or mostly desperate because I was talking about celebrities. And one of the one of the people attacking me said I needed to grow up, get God, and get a life. 
Yeah. I'm the one who needs a life, but you're the one. You're the one who has walk a flock of flame all over your channel. Oh crap. I'm getting off topic. Anyhow. Damn it! <sighs> Sorry about that, stupid screensaver. Anyway, I made another video about the controversy surrounding Lane Bryant's newest ad. That movie was called ABC and Fox have lost their dumbass minds. That was the one that got me the most attention. Uh, last time I checked, I believe it had like 7,000 views. That's the most views I've gotten. And that was when YouTube started taking notice of me and had me had me apply for a partnership. I did. I still haven't gotten anything back from them. But no bigs. I'm already getting enough attention as it is. So yeah. I just decided that ever since ever since that day ever since the rebirth video I just decided to devote myself to saving our youth from complete and utter annihilation. One smart ass vlog at a time. That's my YouTube story. Till next time, I'm Lisa Shell and I'll see you in hell.